West Eagles player Will Rioli has tested positive to cannabis in a second drug test after it was revealed. He allegedly switched out his urine with sports drink. Patrick Murrell is live for us at AFL House in Melbourne this morning. Pat is facing at least a four-year ban, but could his career still be sal salvaged? Peter, these bombshell allegations have the potential to destroy one of West Coast rising stars. Willie Rioli, of course, already facing a ban of several years for tampering. And after testing positive for cannabis, that's another few years on top of that. But experts say that if the penalties are on the lower end and serve concurrently, he could return to the field of play sooner rather than later. Of course, these troubles all began for the West Coast forward on the 20th of August. Asada visited West Coast for routine drug testing after that round 22 to clash with uh, Richmond. It's here that Rioli allegedly switched out his urine sample with sports drink. Now, two weeks later, after that preliminary finals game with Essendon, Asada targeted Rioli for another round of drug testing, and it's this sample that tested positive for cannabis. Now, the first offence of tampering carries a penalty of up to four years. The second, because it occurred on game day, it counts as performance enhancing, so that's another few years. Club members, though, are sticking by the embattled eagle, uh, as he faces this investigation, Will Rioli, of course, remains in the Northern Territory with family as the future of his playing career remains up in the air.